So this week we are going to discuss the Nexus wallet. Does it live up to all the hype? Is it the game changer that everybody's saying it is? Let's go ahead and find out. Okay, so here it is. I know other guys are reviewing this like crazy. People are talking about what a game changer it is and this, that, and the other. And I agree for the most part and uh, I disagree on some points. Whether this is the big game changer, everybody says it is. To start, let's take a look at the wallet. All right, under the cover, can't show you that. That's the code to get the instructional video. And you're gonna open it up. You're gonna have your wallet. Uh, which I've just put a few things in here uh, just so I can do this review. So first we're going to take a look at the actual wallet. Uh, does it look good? Does it feel good? And I will say this, for being fake leather, this is the most leather feeling, fake leather I think I've ever put my hands on. So whatever company it is or whatever material they're using, it's, it's very nice. Will it hold up like regular leather? I don't know. Only time can see that. Maybe, you know, we'll do an update review down the road or, or something like that. But you've got your wallet. You've got a slot here for a card, a slot here for a card. You've got a slot here. So that's what, one, two, three, four, and then five down there. So you've got five slots for credit cards. I will let you know on the ID window side, playing cards will not fit in these credit card slots, but they will fit in the two on the back, okay? So if you want to carry a packet trick or two, and then you've got this kind of pouch area back here, and uh, you can hold money in there, you can hold money if you choose in a zippered compartment. So for being a minimalist wallet, uh, there's you can carry an awful lot of stuff in this, and of course, you know, if you use the money clip, you can carry money there, and you can also hold business cards here. So that's kind of the basic idea with that. And I'm going to touch on, you know, the different features, good or bad, uh, or, or otherwise, and discuss them a little bit. Before I do that, we'll talk about the product itself. I will say that 110 bucks for a minimalist wallet, no matter what it does, that's made of fake leather, is a little steep. So the price point is something that, that's a big issue uh, for a lot of people for what it is. Other than that though, it seems to be made very well. This is one, it's a tough thing with these new wallets and new releases. Will it hold up to being sat on in your back pocket if you put it in your back pocket, you know, or just kind of being scrunched up in your front pocket? I feel like it will last longer in the front pocket than in the back but um, only time will tell. So uh, overall, it seems pretty well made. I did have some issues with there. Oh, it's kind of going now. The zipper would, uh, when I first opened it up, would catch it there. So it's going pretty good, but it makes me nervous. Like that zipper's gonna break, and boy, I would be pissed off if I spent 110 or 120 bucks on a trick wallet that the zipper broke right away. So overall, not too bad. Uh, something just snags a little bit on the zipper. That aside, uh, we're gonna discuss each thing you can do with it. And I will start with what I feel is the weakest feature, though the most visual, right? That is the visual change where he waves over it and it changes from his ID to the spectator's ID. Now I will say, because what has to happen here, think about this, right? Uh, I'm not gonna go into every bit of the mechanics or anything, but you've got your actual ID. That's what I'll say. I will say what they are seeing here is essentially a copy of your ID. So you've got your ID, which you've got to switch for their ID, and then you've got to get their ID all up in the ID area right and uh and that's no no big secret but you've got to get their id up in there without them knowing and how to do that is not the car to wallet method so you've got to do a whole lot of stuff before you can even do the switch and then you wave your hand and then this is all left clean it's really their id in there you slide it out but uh after you do this there is something for you to ditch I, you just need to know that this will be pretty clean, uh, as clean as a gimmicked wallet can be, but your hand will be 
left dirty. You will want to uh, know that in advance. But there's something you should know about this. If you are set up with the gimmick to do the ID change. If you're set up to do that, it has to be the first thing you do with this. You may be able to do the card to wallet, but there will be some thing sticking out that you either have to very awkwardly hide as you do everything and handle the wallet to do card to wallet, and you cannot at all do the peak until after you do the ID change. So if you're planning on doing the ID change, just know you've got to start with that and then go into whatever else you can do with this. The good news is the reset on the ID change is very, very fast. A couple of seconds maybe. I would not do it in view of other people. You have to make a quick adjustment and put something back in here. Don't Definitely don't want to do that in front of people. Overall though, it's a good gimmick and he really is great about step by step showing you how to construct the gimmick. So it's a very cool visual, but it hinders the other things about this wallet that are stronger. So that's about it for that, uh, as far as the ID change is what I'll call it. But uh, definitely uh, get creative if you get this. Then we're going to get into the card to wallet. It's a pretty straightforward thing. The card comes out of the zippered compartment. And the nice thing is when it comes out, it really is coming out. You can show both sides very cleanly. Um, there's nothing happening on the edges, you know what I mean? So the method is exactly what I figured it probably was and what makes the most sense on this, all right? But uh, the load method is, is done uh, in a way that's kind of hidden in, in plain sight. But um, I will say, you have to consider this is a minimalist wallet. That means it's small, it's narrow. So no matter how good they make it, you're only going to have a limited amount of space to load a card anywhere. Let's just think logically here. Take a look at this wallet, the width of it. Take a look at the width of this card, okay? So no matter what the method is, you have to be spot on when you load this thing, and it is the palm load. If that scares you away, just know it is a palm load method. There is no no palm option for this. When this is resting in your back pocket, and you take that card, and you go to load it, it will work. And in the minds of the spectators, we're not talking about taking, say, 20 seconds longer than the real man's wallet, or the FPS wallet, or any of those. But as a performer, it, it it does take noticeably longer with this one, and and boy, I've been trying, I've been trying to get it down, um, but you know the FPS is just so fast and slick, and uh, even in here, you know you could definitely load it through the front pocket, which I'm not personally a fan of, I'm, I'm just not, but that will work with this. That being said, it's not nearly as tight as I thought it would be. When you do find the load area, you find that guide and get everything positioned just right, it slips right on in there really smooth. I mean, you know, it's uh, you're not s snagging on anything, but this is all about effect for me. I, I'm a big proponent of effect over method. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of this method, but the teaching on the video gives you some really, really cool ideas. This is one of these releases that I'm, even though it's very expensive, I'm tempted to say, even if you bought this and turned around and sold it the next day, or even if you just bought it and put it in a shelf and went and grabbed your other preferred card to wallet, the knowledge you will get from this video uh, which is, I think, clocks in at 3 hours and 52 minutes, uh, it, the knowledge you get is great. So you've got the idea, which I think has been, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen done before, but it's really neat, where the card is pulled out, you actually pull out a folded dollar bill, and then they can grab it, and when you unfold the dollar bill, inside is the card. You can pull out a folded paper clipped dollar bill with a paper clip on every side and their card is inside that paper clipped inside the dollar bill. That type of thinking uh, is worth its weight in gold. I can't say enough good things about Javier's teaching. I really can't. Um, great, great teaching all across the board on this thing. It's, it just is not the most convenient loading system, I guess. One great thing too though, 
Um, for example, the Edge Wallet. Yes, it's inexpensive, but if you want to do the card to wallet, you could take apart, I guess, their envelopes and construct some yourself. You know what I mean? But Or you can keep buying their refills. On this, he does teach you a card to envelope or ring to envelope or whatever small object to, well, to sealed envelope. Pretty neat. And with the download, you get also the PDF file for the template or template to make the envelopes yourself. Yes, you have to make them yourself. No, it's not hard and it's very inexpensive. That is a great thing they did. So a lot of good elements of the card to wallet. It does work. In fact, it works better than I thought it would. It just doesn't work as good as other wallets that I prefer. So these are all things you have to consider. So for me, the ID change is a no-go. I'll never do it, except for maybe on camera. The card to wallet is good not good enough to make this my everyday carry and then uh, before i get to what i call the grand finale of all this there is the money clip you can take it out and flip it over for just a silver money clip i you know it's not a huge deal but you can still put money under here right but here you slap in a couple of your business cards and you can do out to lunch right i was really worried about this wiggling well one card is going to wiggle a lot but if i put say six or seven maybe ten cards in here including the out to lunch piece i was worried when it's in my pocket this would move out of place but i'm telling you i gave it a test i reached into my pocket moved this thing all over i bent my legs i sat on it and when i pull it out everything was just like it should every time okay so i just kind of beat it up a little bit to see if it would mess up the out to lunch setup and it did not so that caught me off guard a little bit and i liked it so it's a good feature i love the out to lunch principle if you love the out to lunch principle this is a great feature and if you don't want the money clip you just take it on out right so there you go now we're gonna get to the best part of this for me and uh and i'm not trying to start any big debate or or anything like that but i will say the reason the peak is the best part in my mind is because for years I have said that Tony Miller's peak method in his complete peak wallet is hands down the best peak I've seen in any wallet or any object really. Uh, there's some guys that put out some really neat, neat ideas but his was simple, direct, lighting never mattered, angles never mattered, whether they used a thin pencil or a thin pen or a marker never mattered it doesn't make any noise it, it ticks every box for the ideal peak you don't have to open it back up to get your peak and the reason i'm mentioning tony's peak method being uh the best one and i've said it forever is javier allegedly came up with a peak method that almost copies tony's method uh you know uh, not not to a t but the thing is this isn't a billfold tony's is made into a billfold Right in Tony's peak, um, instead of you putting the whatever was written on in the ID area, you put it in a credit card area, right? So that's where you put it with Tony's. So essentially, if we would just black this out, we would have the exact same method as Tony's. But uh, they do add one other little feature to this, which Tony's does not use. That aside, uh, I just had to put that out there. I just have a hard time believing that the biggest uh, magic distributor on the planet uh, had no idea that the exact same method already existed. I just have a hard time believing it. You can believe what you want. I'm not judging Javier, and this, this method was just ripe to be independently created. So I'm not even really dogging on him. Um, but what this tells me is Murphy's did zero research. And that, that's on them. That's fine. I'm not mad at them for it. Just know Tony's wallet has two different peaks, one internal, one external. And it includes a no palm card to wallet feature. And it's in real leather, very nice leather. But what it does is phenomenal. It's made out of real leather. You have two different peaks. You can use it for pocket writing. You can steal out a card very simply. So they put a card inside the wallet 
and in a second you can steal it out. You can, it is the best multifunction wallet on the planet in my mind, and it's $50. I'm not trying to use this to pitch Tony's wallet at all, but I'm just saying the only thing not going for it is it's not a minimalist wallet. If you don't like billfolds or go look it up online, you'll see the general design of it. Uh, if it's not your style, I get that. If this is your style and money is no object, this is great. But what I will say, all those other things aside, they write down whatever they're going to write down. They slide it. Well, or you slide it. And you don't even have to look, by the way. You can look away and you'll, you'll be able to know exactly where to slide this without looking face down. And here's the great thing. You don't even do anything turn it over, right? And then you say, uh, you say, hey, could you go ahead and put your hand over it? And in that action, you've gotten your peak. Or you can, uh, you know, slide it in there and then uh, you just go to hand it to someone. You've gotten your full peak, full area. Doesn't matter how light or dark it is. Doesn't matter what object they use, but uh, you've got your peak. So it can be done one-handed. When you do it one-handed, I will say this, uh, you've got to watch your angles a little bit more. Now, if you go to flip it over and then hand it to someone, your angles are pretty much completely covered. So unless someone's sitting here with their head on the table looking like this, there's nothing for anybody to see. If there's people to your left and you're right-handed, or even if you're not right-handed, you'll, you'll want to really listen to Javier talk about how to handle the angles, which he does. But the angles are great on this. And the peak is very natural. You can do it one-handed. In the action of going like that, you've got your peak. That is it. And then you can put it on their palm or whatever. And I would not hesitate to put this in someone's hand. If you say, hey, here, take a look at my totally normal, regular, minimalist wallet, uh, probably not a good idea. So no, the wallet cannot be examined. They probably wouldn't find anything weird about it. Once they start really playing around with it, they might accidentally find something weird about it. This is, in my modest opinion, the best peak out there. And the one in the complete peak wallet, because they're basically the same. If you like the style, here's the thing. If you like the peak, if the peak is valuable to you, then I think this this is a, a great option. If you don't want a billfold, there's nothing there is nothing else I would recommend more than this. Now, in a perfect world, if the Nexus wallet and D. Christopher's shadow wallet had a baby, we would have, in my mind, perfect wallet, even if there was no card to wallet feature. Right? That's a uh, nice, a nice add-on. I don't care at all about the ID change, although a lot of you guys that like hyper-visual magic and uh, that type of stuff, you'll, you'll get a kick out of that gimmick and have fun using it. One thing I will say, everything you see in the, in the trailer for this, the, the change and all that, it's all real-world stuff. There's no Instagram, you know, TikTok, YouTube magic on here. It's real world stuff that looks great on camera and looks great in person. So then we get to the price point. Uh, I've seen 110 to 120 bucks. Man, oh man, that is expensive. But you cannot always just ask yourself, what am I getting? You're getting a wallet that most people might pay. I mean, not counting the gimmicks. In the real world, someone might be inclined to pay 15, 20 bucks for this. But it is gimmicked very specially. And a lot, I can tell Javier put a lot of thought and time into this. So here's what I will say in terms of teaching two thumb tips up. In terms of the out to lunch, I mean, it works. It's great. Um, some won't care. Some will for me. It's two thumb tips up. I can see some people not really caring, so it's right in the middle. The card to wallet feature. Uh, I'm kind of two thumb tips sideways. It's good. And what he teaches is two thumb tips up. But the actual card to wallet feature on here is, is eh, so-so right? The peak. If I actually had a couple thumb tips laying right here, I would say four thumb tips up out of two. You kind of have to decide, is this worth 110 to 120 dollars for you? For me, you know, I'm still pestering Tony <laughs> about something, you know, kind of similar to this. So for me, the teaching is great really great but uh, I'm gonna hold off till the guy who came up with this method comes up with something similar to this that's just me being patient I got this I want to love it I kind of do love it I don't love it for 110 bucks I don't love it being made out of fake leather I don't love it 
having a sketchy, oop, there it goes, get, getting stuck again. I don't love it having a sketchy zipper. So for 110 bucks, I wanna love all of it. That's just me. For those that see the value in it, absolutely get it. For those that want some great ideas and that value good teaching, get it. For those that want the most cutting edge card to wallet or want to do a peak and then uh, some type of visual change, don't get this. It won't work like that. If you got the money to spend and you want the best peak on the market, in my opinion, then have at it. If you are getting this for anything other than the peak, save your money. And and maybe someday, maybe, some, maybe Javier and Tony and uh, D. Christopher could have a little powwow and have have the the Shadow Wallet Index and the Tony Miller slash you know Nexus Wallet Peak and then maybe something else in there I don't know but that would be pure heaven for all of us and maybe charge less than 110 bucks I don't know if that's doable so I know I rambled on about this quite a bit and it's one of those things does it live up to the hype eh. No, not really. So after all that, uh, you've got my thoughts on it. You ultimately have to make your own decision. I don't think it's a bad release. I think it's slightly overpriced and slightly overhyped. But other than that, if you get it, enjoy it because it's pretty darn good. For a lot of you though, I'm telling you, it's not going to be what you hope it would be. So once again, uh, I do know I ramble on. I <laughs> apologize for that, everybody. Thanks for tuning in and watching my review. But I look forward to doing more of these and uh, getting to chat with y'all. And other than that, have a great day. Peace out.